Well, sometimes an athlete is a star for more reasons than the talent they bring to their sport. 23 year old Rachel Sweat is a beast on the tennis court and her success is made sweeter by the challenges she's faced to get there. We met her when she was nine years old and she was nonverbal, frustrated and couldn't communicate anything. My husband, her dad, said that she needed to hit something. So he put a little racket in her hand and she's never stopped playing. We have used tennis to teach her everything from how to react, how to not react, how to interact with other people. Rachel was in my Sunday school class and she was a scared, very abused, tiny child that would run in and hide under the table. When we found her, we were asked to respite her for a weekend. That lasted a couple of weeks, and we knew that we needed to have her. My husband kept saying she's a diamond in the rough. We adopted her immediately, and that was 14 years ago. She has been number one in the state of Arkansas Women's USTA 4.0 tennis for three years running. She is now a 4.5. She is the number one female Special Olympics in the U.S. She's kind, she's loving, she's happy, she's generous. She loves to help people. She's very serious about tennis. She never lets up, she never gives up. That's Rachel. Rachel and her family head to Florida next week to compete in the Special Olympics Championship. Oh, we're wishing her the best. And she says her favorite player is Serena Williams. Mm -hmm. And our chief meteorologist, Tom Brandon, just said during that piece, <laughs> he would actually like to play her. I'd like to play her. Oh, yeah. would you now? Well, yeah, give me a contact. I'll be a warm up match. I have a feeling you may be using I'll, some no, ice. My money's on I Rachel. Was, I was going to mm -hmm. say I'll last about 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, we're going to try and talk Tom out of this, and we'll be right back.